What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dialogue with Richard Hauk. I am Richard Hauk, and uh, I just want to jump right into this. This is kind of a special video. I, it's not the video that I intended to put out as the first one coming back or anything like that, but I did want to, um, it's something that I really wanted to talk about, and something that was really heavy on me this weekend, and it's, it's uh, Mother's Day, and, and not having your mom there with you uh, on that day. And it's, it's, a, it's something tough that, you know, a lot of us go through. You know, we, we sit there and, and watch all these Facebook and, and Instagram posts with mothers and everything like that, and we don't have our mom to be with. And uh, it's something that kind of weighed heavy on my heart. And so I wanted to, I went out and uh, visited my mom's grave site, and I took some video while I was out there. And, and I, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, so I didn't have all of my equipment with me or anything like that literally just shot this on my phone and you can tell the audio on it is simply horrible i tried to clean it up a little bit but it's something i still feel like i wanted to get out there just in case it, you know if it helps one person deal with you know maybe this was their first mother's day without their mother if this can help one person that's that's all it's all that's all it's about i don't, I don't care um that it wasn't the most perfect video i've ever made but um i do want to get that message out there um i will still be doing the back video but I'm uh, I'm just gonna put this one out there beforehand uh, just to let you uh, just to get the message out and I, I know it's we're a day past um, we're a day past Mother's Day now but I think it's still something that you can deal with like when, when other holidays come up and stuff like that anyway I hope you enjoy this it gets it's a little it's a little heartfelt right there so there's a, it's a little emotional but anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it. So, this is where I come on Mother's Day. Um, it's tough. It's, it's tough to, um, to watch everybody with their moms and, and celebrating everything. And uh, when when you have to come come here, and uh, uh, this is my mom's this is my mom right here. Um. So yeah, I uh, I come out here and uh, every year and 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 just talk. You know, talk to her like she was still here, and uh, but like I said, it, it is. It's tough to to watch everybody, you know, have so much fun with with you know their moms, and 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 I don't know that everybody necessarily appreciates how much you know it means to have them around. I mean, I think I I'm, I know during my time, you know, I, I took my mom for granted being here, that she was always going to be here, and, uh, she was taken, she was taken from us early, uh, she was 57 years old, and, uh, so, and that was, it was six years ago, 2012, and it's still, it's still hard to, to, to come out and, and do stuff like this, and I think the toughest times, are holidays um whether that's my mom's favorite was uh she always liked thanksgiving and uh, it's my favorite too and but thanksgiving and christmas so we used to go over to her house every christmas eve and uh you know it would we'd open at least a present early the night before and, and so that's it's one thing that my family we've kind of let on our side on, on our this side of the family has kind of let that go we don't get together at Christmas Eve anymore we we try and Skype my brother who was uh, stationed over in Japan and, uh, but I mean it, it doesn't necessarily happen every year so but Mother's Day is another tough one um, it's, it's one that like I said it's, it's hard to it's hard to to watch people get together with their families and everything like that. And even even getting together with 
my family, which is her side of the family. Um, even that is tough at times. So, I, for, a, for a while, I mean, it's, it's gotten better now. But sometimes it was even tough to do that. Uh, because you would be in that situation and she was supposed to be there. And it just never, it never has never felt right until uh, lately. I feel like I've I've kind of gotten back to reconnecting with that side of the family, and uh, and it sucks because there's time lost there and everything that we that we don't have back. But it's all something that I, I guess was part of the healing process that I had to deal with on my own and on my own time. And it, it feels like it's not fair in some things, but. I mean, I, I miss her every day. I mean, I know people say that, but like, literally, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her in some way or at some time, you know, and I don't talk about this much um, because it's hard. It is hard to talk about. But I just something that I, you know, I maybe I thought if I shared my story that maybe somebody who's going through this for the first time Maybe you'll, maybe you can, you know, understand, maybe get some kind of something that will help you through it. So now, I mean, we're, we're actually, I came up here on Saturday. This is actually the day before, uh, Mother's Day. And our family's actually celebrating the day early. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go spend some time with them. And, uh, I think it'll help. I, I have a lot of fun. I, um, a lot of fun. And, uh, go see them go party a little bit Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. It's just hard for me to do. So, um, My mom was buried by the regional airport.